What's up guys, this is Bruno with 247parts.com, the best place online to buy your John Deere parts. Let's dive right on into it and show what the difference is between the four different kinds of John Deere black paint. So starting over here to my right, what I've got is I've got the Blitz black John Deere paint. Then next to it, I've got the high gloss black paint. Then I have the medium gloss black paint and then lastly i have the muffler black paint now on john deere equipment you're going to see different black surfaces all over the place from frames to mufflers to maybe the rear end of tractors all different kinds so there is a need to have this here at the dealership but i'm going to go ahead and show each one of these individually so that you can see just exactly what they look like so you know which one to buy to match up with your equipment when you're doing those touch-ups or repaint jobs whatever you're doing so we'll start over here with the blitz black paint get this good and shook up Then we'll move over here to our high gloss. Then to our medium gloss. And lastly, our muffler black paint. Now, while these paints are drying, let's talk just a little bit about black paint. Now, I had done a video over the John Deere green and yellow paints, which I'll leave a link to down in the description below. Very easy to see the color difference between those two because you are talking about a different hue of color. Now, with these black paints, everything that we're talking about here basically is going to be the finish of the paint. So that is sometimes hard to see on cardboard. So we'll go ahead and talk about these what the difference between each one is supposed to be. Both of these three are going to be for your agricultural use, commercial use, or residential use on equipment, not specific to any type of place. So this is going to get, go good for maybe the black frames on your lawnmowers or the back of your tractor. But what these are going to be is the Blitz Black is going to be for a low gloss finish. Your high gloss obviously is going to be that most shiny type finish, more wet looking, and your medium gloss is going to be somewhere in between. Now when we get over to the Muffler Black, and as you can see right here in these three, you can see how the Muffler Black is dried up a lot quickly. There's not any more shine to it. This is meant for metal surfaces that are going to be reaching high temps hence the name muffler black now if we're looking across the other three here all three of them are going to look fairly similar whenever we're looking here on cardboard but just keep in mind that these three are all going to be about the finish so if you're not looking really at what the name is and you're looking here at the blitz black just remember that it is going to be for your regular temperature metal surfaces for a low gloss medium is for your medium gloss high for your high gloss more wet looking and then like we said the muffler for those high temp surfaces so to try to get a little more accurate representation of this i've got this old steel band off of a barrel let's go ahead and hit this with a little bit of each one of these colors of paint starting here with the muffler black medium gloss high gloss and finish it off here with the blitz. Now let's let that dry a bit, come back and check it out. All right, so now as you can see, still pretty hard to tell on the cardboard the difference in these paints, but we'll go ahead and get a close up view of each one of them. Now, this is going to be the low gloss blitz black on cardboard. And then here it is on metal. We'll get some of that shine in there, some of that natural light. And then a close up. Now keep in mind this is still just a little bit wet. Then we'll look here at the high gloss. There on cardboard, you can see quite a bit of shine there. Pretty dark, but then we can really see a difference here on this metal. Definitely looks way more wet than the Blitz Black. Now if we move over here to our medium gloss on the cardboard here. 
And then we move here to our metal surface. If we go back and forth between the high gloss and then over to the medium gloss, not a whole lot of difference, but definitely enough that you can tell this one here is brighter. And then we move here to our muffler. Now this is going to be about as flat as you can get, not only on the cardboard, but on the metal surface as well. So if we go here from the muffler to the medium gloss, that is a crazy, crazy difference. Now, if you're going in and you are looking for these different paints and we're looking for the Blitz Black, we're looking for part number TY25631. The high gloss is going to be TY25609. The medium gloss is going to be TY25638 and the muffler black paint is TY25657. Now, hopefully this was a good enough representation that you have a good idea of what you're going to need for your equipment. I hope this video helped you out. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, we just ask you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also guys, if you're looking for any John Deere parts at all for your equipment, make sure to check us out at 247parts.com. And as always guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to go buy your parts right here and subscribe right here.